Hi YouTube, it's Maya here again. Today we're going to make this cute barefoot sandal. So let's get started. What you will need is a cotton yarn. Any cotton yarn will work fine. The cotton yarn that will work with um, 3.5 mm hook I use. This is the leftover of my last project. This is record 210. You can also use Rico Creative Aran or any other cotton yarn that you can find. And a crochet hook. Mm, 3.5 mm, but I can't actually <laughs> doesn't don't know why. Can't see. Yeah, it's a 3.5 mm hook. And then you use scissor and the yarn needle. Put it away. So to start you will make the magic ring. And this is how you make the magic ring. Um I quite not don't know why I'm not able to to zoom. Not to zoom, yeah, now you can see. So to make the magic ring, you put the yarn like so. Put over it. Then you can you can use the hook also to just pick the yarn. Go under. To pick the yarn. Hmm. <laughs> It's a little complicated, but actually it's not like this. Pick the yarn up, like how you will make slip knot. But then you will leave the tail. Like this. Then you have this. You chain three. And this is how it looks mm -hmm. like. So these three count as one double crochet. Then you will put eight double crochet in this magic ring. So eight plus the first three chain, we have nine. Now you're going to pull this tail tight and you will have something like this. You put the tail, so these have to close. You have something like this, like half of the moon kind of yeah. doesn't look neat here <laughs> can also cut it out here I just cut it out like this <laughs> and when you got this half moon shape you're going to make the part to hold our toe, I chain 16. Sixteen, and then you will slip stitch here on the top of the first double crochet which actually it was three chain from the beginning it was just slip stitch this how we gonna put this in our toe this part and then from here 
I actually write it down what I have done first one <coughs> then we chain three chain three cars wonderful crochet and then we put one double crochet in the same stitch So, like we have two in the first one. And the double crochet in the same stitch, chain two. Skip one stitch, skip the next one. This is the next one, and then one double crochet in the next. And then we chain two, skip the next double crochet, and then we put two double crochet in the next one. Skip this one, we go to the next. Put two inside, now one more time. Now it's kind of like in the middle, we have two double crochet, the first one we have two also, hope you can see, mm -hmm. and then chain two, skip the next one, one double crochet in the next, then chain two, skip the next chain, skip the next one, and then two double crochet, in the last stitch so this is the second round this one is a little bit we can yeah we can sort in later this is how our second round look like looks like <laughs> now round three chain three turn this three chain we count as one double crochet and now we put one extra chain skip this one the first one here and then we put one double crochet right into the next one Sorry for this noise. <laughs> we are in a um, resort and there's people in the swimming pool and around. <laughs> anyway, I hope you still can hear me. So let's continue. Chain one, skip one, and one double crochet in the next. So now, from here, chain two. Skip next two stitch, this two, and then one double crochet in the next, right on top of double crochet from the previous row. Hmm? I have to look what I <laughs> I just forget. Skip two and the one Okay, now chain two. One double crochet in the neck. Chain one. Then one double crochet. You see, now we don't skip chain one and then one double crochet right in the neck. So. Mm -hmm. and then chain two. Skip next two. Skip this two chain space, one double crochet in the next. Chain two, skip two, one single crochet, uh, one double crochet in the next. Chain one, 
and then one double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, this is our third row. Look like, looks like. So, now chain three. Turn our work. Now very easy from here. This three chain count as one double crochet. And now we're going to put one double crochet all along here. So now one. Now inside this chain space, I put one in there. Two, and then one here. Three. Now this two chain two space, I will put two inside. Four. Five, and then here on the top of the next one. Six, and then in this side inside here two. Seven. Eight. And then on top of that, nine. Then inside here one because we chain one, so we just put one. Ten. 11, now 2 chain here, put 2, 12, 13, on top of here, 14, now chain 2, so we put 2, 15, 16, 17, the last one, 18. The last one we finish inside this chain space. We want to have 18 double crochet in total. Let me count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. This is our row 4. Yeah. Like so. And now, let me look what to do. Round five. Oop. Chain one, turn our work, and then we put one single crochet in here. Oops. Sorry, the yarn just stuck. <laughs> Chain one, one double crochet, uh, one single crochet in the, the second the second stitch from hook which means the first one from this round you put one single crochet and then chain three skip the next stitch one single crochet in the neck and you will do this along you will do this just and um, just check the pattern you do this along here one two three then skip next skip one stitch one single crochet in the next one two three skip go to the next one two three skip this and go to the next one two three One, two, three, skip and go to the next. One, two, three, skip this, go to the next. So it's our last one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight this little pattern here. Let me count my first one if I have the same. Oh, hold it back. Correct. And now for the next round we just turn our work and what we do we just the first chain space here we put our hook in there and we take the yarn like so and we make a single crochet like that see 
now chain three we do the same we repeat same pattern as the row before so, one, three. and now we go in there so you will repeat this pattern along here and then you do the same how to start the next round you will keep doing this this is how we um, decrease the row and we will go a little bit smaller both side you will do for my side I just do until row 9 like 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we are row 6 and then I do three more but you can make less or more it depends on your size I will meet you after when I complete row number nine so here I finish row number nine this is the pattern the last row row number nine I have one, two, three, four chain space left. And from here, we will do, we will make directly from here, we will do chain of 150 to wrap around our leg. So you will do the here 150, and then here 150. And then you're done. I show you just go directly from here you do 150 here and then you do from here as well so I will meet you when I have done that and wave the thread in and show you how it looks like in the end so here how it turns out I just add here the side First, I continue from one side and then I just slip knot to the other side and chain 150 as well. And then I just saw in, yeah, web in the thread. Now it's done. It looks small, but when you put it on and pull to both sides, then it's just perfect for my feet. I will make some photo shoot and yeah. We'll see in the end hope you like this video if you like the video just give it a thumb up and share with your friends subscribe and then i will make more video for you have a beautiful day bye